On the last episode, we blew off some steam by visiting Silver Spring State Park and exploring all of Ocala, Florida. On this episode, we end up in Hanna Park in Jacksonville, Florida. Upon arrival, we get into a gut-wrenching situation. We try not to let this deter us from having too much fun and exploring this amazing park. As we approach Jacksonville Beach, we are filled with excitement and pure stoke to finally be leaving the South Florida area behind and to be staying right on the beach where we could surf and hit the local mountain bike trails that are right inside the park. We're stoked. We're at a Hana, Hana, Hana? Park, that's what it is, Hana, in uh, Jacksonville. Awesome mountain biking, amazing wildlife, and really awesome surf. Grew up going here, I uh, went to college here. So, it kind of brings back some memories, but it's a beautiful park. And uh, stoked to be here. It's a little chilly, it's gonna get cooler. So, the, the water's cold, which is not my favorite thing, but uh, Hey, who can complain? What's going on? You good news? Nope. Shut up. You never reserved the spot. I did. 282. For next week. Whatever I do. To hit a tree was quite a shock. We were looking left and right constantly because the roads were so narrow, but never did we imagine that our roof would actually get caught on a tree. We had better days. Is it hitting that rack too? What's up? Is it hitting that rack too? It's coming off. It's coming off. It's off actually. So if you went like straight maybe, I think, I think if you went straight, I, I think you can just go through. Look, if you went. Well, and, I think what happened the first time is it all right so i'm on top of the roof assessing damage from our out on the limb kind of accident and it's not too pretty but i mean with that being said Could have been a lot worse. So we got some tears in our roof. It's, um, I believe it's EPMD, which is a really thick, like vinyl like uh, material. So I gotta figure out how to patch this up. And then our gutters are all bent up. Sorry, it's terrible video, but. I'm standing on a ladder that is also all jacked up from our incident. But it could have been a whole lot worse. You can see the, uh, let me see here. So the ladder is all jacked up the whole way down. Got some trees still. The joys of full-time RV, baby. That was. <clears throat> so, definitely could have been a whole lot worse, but you can see our ladder is uh, not straight. Got all the hinges a little whacked, but most of the damage is uh, the very top of the ladder. That's what caught on the tree. And then the roof tears and the uh, rain gutters, but it's not too bad. I thought it would be worse. So this is a tight spot. 
we um, have our slides literally an inch or two away from this tree and we are barely in this spot so if you guys are interested in coming to this park and you got a big rig it's um, not fun I'll show you so there's our rear deck side and um, we barely got in here there's trees literally everywhere but um, we made it and thank god we got here just before dark because this would have been even more of a nightmare I mean the guy told us to go the wrong way and so we followed what he told us which is my fault should have checked for sure so we tried making a loop around the campground well normally that would work in most campgrounds but this one we almost took out two trees literally inches away and uh, it was really scary and then we thought we had made it around and the tree that got us was sticking out over the road and uh, just totally wasn't expecting it. Thank God we were going slow. It caught our ladder on top of the roof. And, um, but it was totally unexpected. Definitely did not expect to have the tree hit our roof. Cause we're on our main road. It was like the main loop for the campsite. So it's a uh, Hana State, or uh, Hana City Park in Jacksonville. Beautiful park on the ocean, on fresh water lake got alligators got mountain biking got surf but we are I'll show you so here's the road and our rig is literally I guess overhanging on the road just just a hair but um, we're in there it's tight but we're in there sorry for the crappy video but wanted to show you guys what happened all right so I looked at the radar it looks like we might get some thunderstorms here so better to be safe than sorry and there's nothing a little duct tape couldn't fix so duct taped and used uh, heavy-duty trash bags to seal the roof for the night until I get a permanent fix tomorrow this uh, ladder really got jacked up it's um, super wobbly, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, that's not so safe. So I'm walking on the roof and discovered LED lights just randomly sitting on our slide out. This is our water pressure. So after having the incident last night with us running into a tree, well, we get into camp and we had no water pressure. So after a couple of rainy and stormy days, I finally get on the roof, and thanks to a buddy of mine, I got some Eterna Bond and was able to get things fixed up a little bit. For those of you that don't know, this stuff is unbelievable and totally helped fix and seal the roof. I couldn't find any locally, but you can get it on Amazon. Um, I was lucky my buddy, Andrew, uh, had some, and I was able to buy it off of him. So I'll put the link in the description for this because anybody that's in RVing or any kind of sport in general, it's a great thing to have some of this as a spare. And what I love about it is that all you got to do is just clean the area that you're going to work on. You peel the uh, plastic backing off the tape. You put the tape down and then you put pressure on it and boom, there it is. Nice and sealed up. It won't come off and it'll last a long time.
going to work. You. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Road Warrior. Join us on the next episode as we run into more shitty problems. And we continue to have fun and make the best out of every situation. Ha, ha, ha.